Hi guys, nice easy one this week. Uh, just a time belt water pump on a say at 1.6 TDI, so same as the Golf and all those sort of things. VAG Group 1.6, so let's crack on. So we've got wheel arch liner out, uh, under tray off, and we're just draining the water coolant out now, so we don't get covered in it when we take the water pump out. Right, okay, so quick update where we are. I've took the engine mount off, I've took the coolant bottle off. You don't need to take the coolant bottle off, but you've got to drain it to the water pump anyway, so it just gives you a bit of extra room. Took the V-belt off, I'm about to take the bracket off the engine next, and then we can get the covers off and we can see the business end of the timing belt. Right, so we've got all the covers off and the mountains off and everything. Uh, I've got it timed up. We've got our tool on the bottom crankshaft pulley. If you can see it down there, pin locked in that one. And then we've got a pin on the fuel pump pulley and we've got a pin on the camshaft pulley. So we'll just loosen our timing belt tensioner and that's it, the belt will be off and then we can do the water pump. Right, so we've got the new belt installed, uh, all the new idlers, new water pump. Uh, don't forget to do the studs that these sit on as well. Uh, they all come in the kit, so they must all need replacing. I think they're all single use. Place all these bolts as well, they were all in the kit. Um, so we're all tightened up, tensioned up. So now we'll start building back up with the covers and the engine mount. So we've got the covers back on, uh, engine mounts back on, coolant pipes back on. Uh, I've just got the bottom pulley and the drive belt to put back on and we'll put the coolant reservoir and the fuel filter back up, back up and then we can start our up, run our up to temperature. Right, so we've got everything back together, uh, put some coolant in it, just going to start it up now and then we're going to have run it up to temperature and bleed it up. So let's see how she starts up. And I forgot that I need to push the clutch pedal down, so let me get a clutch pedal presser. 